In this video, I'll be going over this uh, Yukon Excel that we just finished up on, and let's get right into it. So this is an 01 GMC Yukon XL, and uh, it has our SON package and uh, some different add-ons that we can go over too. But uh, it's been a fun build. I think it turned out really well. Uh, some kind of unique things about this vehicle is, I don't know if you guys have seen these before. We've never installed one, but it's a um, this front hitch install. And uh, the idea behind this is you could have a winch on a hitch and so you could have one in the front or the rear and this is a worn system um, that's wired and everything so this wasn't this this wasn't you know a request from the client or anything I actually bought this um, like this and just I didn't want to remove it because it was done really well and all the wires are there so this client you know if uh, they ever wanted to do something like that in the future they could uh, they went with the uh, light bar in the front and then a uh, vent shade uh, window things <laughs> and then also did upgrade a tire now this is the BFG um, all-terrain KO2 really popular tire um, I'm sure you guys know about these, but it's a 285 70 17. And uh, of course, 10 ply. Some differences between this and another, you know, other tire that we've used is these, these are a uh, three ply sidewall versus a two ply sidewall. It's also winter rated, um, which, you know, right there, there's a little mark on the tire. Uh, that's just a factory or a thing that they put on saying that uh, these tires are good in snow um, and ice. And so some tires don't get that recommendation and some do. So that's an added bonus. Uh, so they went with that upgrade. I think what else here? Sawn package, just typical stuff, you know. So you have um, the lift. So we do uh, Moog HD coils in the rear with Bilstein 5100 shocks and then up front we do a new torsion key because it's a torsion bar uh, suspension and uh, new shocks up front also so that's that's pretty much the suspension and then uh, we change all the fluids so all the fluids have been changed on this one uh, transmission fluid transfer case front and rear diff engine oil and then we check all the rest of the fluids this has pretty low miles, miles if I remember right. Yeah, it's 140,000 about. Um, Four-wheel drive, of course, just like all of our, you know, builds. So this is definitely on the lower um, mileage, and it's kind of getting harder and harder to find the lower mileage rigs. So we we can't really promise our clients, you know this low of mileage we can try our hardest but sometimes it doesn't happen we reupholstered uh front seats i believe that one also so uh the front seats the bottoms have been reupholstered tops were in you know good shape so we just cleaned them up another add-on was the uh, double din stereo with backup camera this one you know it's it's leather just like a bunch of them but it also you know heated seats um, just setting for the seats so it has you know this was a pretty loaded um, model for the GMC Yukon XL not to be so some people they'll they'll ask well what's the difference between a GMC Yukon XL and a Chevy Suburban really nothing um, it just really was about what options you chose and so 
as far as look wise um, the hood will be a little bit different like the headlights have a different shape to them and the grill is a little bit different than a suburban other than that you know you might say the GMC had more chrome like this one has a bunch of chrome um, you know with like the chrome mirrors it's not really on every GMC Yukon XL at all so um, you might be more than likely to get the higher end things but I haven't seen any numbers to attach that that's just me estimating honestly there's no differences now when you get into the Denali the Yukon XL Denali obviously that's different and I have videos going over that but let's get into the build here so this has the Dometic uh, this is a new fridge that we're using uh, it's from Dometic still it's a CFX 25 so it's a little bit smaller than the 28 um, and this wasn't you know we didn't just decide to make this choice it was pretty much decided for us the the CFX 28 is discontinued and this is what replaced it so you can see inside there still you know great storage and everything um, and I don't know if you guys know but we do cup holders now in the front there that was a big request this one also has a trailer brake it looks like and then Bill this is a two-seater so these are open back here. Let me get this. It's hard with one hand. But these drawers, you've seen these a lot in our other videos. So there's the drawer looks like when it's um, forward. Then these are our window inserts that we have here this is a cover for that mattress if you ever wanted to like you know take it somewhere and so it's pretty roomy in here um, I would definitely you know going with the the two seat option is nice for a lot of reasons just because you've all the space you don't have a seat in your way but a lot of our clients go with you know three to five seat uh, option also now here's the EcoFlow Delta. This is our normal um, unit that we use in these. Um, I've had this plugged in all day, the fridge, so the solar has kept up with it. Right now we're getting about 37 watts coming in, and uh, it's still at 100%. So really efficient fridge. We only put efficient, you know, things into this like the fan you know it's very efficient I know I've said that a lot but then our light you know this is just a you know I think it's five watt you know LED light that's the one for the the car dome light that we replace but you know everything in here is really efficient and then when you fold these forward you have your box top See how that kind of goes in there? Then you can slide it down. And then this acts as a extension for the bed. So, so that works out, you know, with this extend, you know, coming out that way. We leave this longer because uh, it's nice to have that extension out in the back of the vehicle um, when you're cooking and stuff and having this good cooking area is just um, really nice to have. Let's open the rear hatch here. This is a hatch model. And then I'll show you with this. So you can configure these a couple different ways. So that way you got one right there and you can close it up. 
on itself and then you have that much or you could also double it out you know if you wanted to again tough with only uh, one hand here but I'll try my hardest so there's that So you can extend it out a little bit farther. And then you can cook, you know, right there. So you may not want to extend it out that far. It really just depends. I'm kind of on a slant right here. Um, and so it depends on where you're cooking. But I'll usually just use one of those inserts. And then uh, I'll have a good cooking surface right here. And then this also is nice because you can fold that forward and then have all of that space. So like I'll have maybe like, you know, bread and food and stuff up here. Um, and then, you know, food down below also. And then you can put everything right there. And you could even bring the uh, EcoFlow Delta back here if you wanted to, if you were like charging things. So it's all really modular, um, including the fridge too. Um, we get that asked a lot and there's a look back here cubbies wooden ceiling all insulated um, and uh, yeah you can stay pretty warm in here you know depending on how well you use the heat to heat it up and how well you you know put the inserts in and but uh, definitely an all you know season camper so that pretty much sums up this tour. This again, this is an 01 GMC Yukon XL that uh, has the SON package. Uh, another thing that I guess I've been pretty poor at explaining is what we do with each vehicle as far as um, when we bring it in, what's the process. Um, and we call that, so every vehicle becomes a base. So when I say base, that means all the mechanical work. And not only that, included in that base package, when the vehicles that we purchase, you know, we, we purchase the vehicle, A, you know, so there's a, you know, so that's, that's included in that. Um, that's not an easy task if you guys have bought used vehicles before. Um, takes a lot of time. We don't just buy any vehicle, we pass on a lot of them and uh you know the crazy thing about this business is you know our clients aren't just like down the street and they are you know driving to and from work or something like when they show up they drive to new york and so these things need to be ready to go no issues um and so we, we try our hardest to do that um, and then also included in that base package is uh we drive them for months and so I'm personally driving you know so I've been driving this thing around for the last couple months Marty our mechanics are driving it around other members of sub overland so um, between all of us when we drive and we pick up on you know all the little things that need you know you know work for example this is another vehicle we're working on but I bought it with uh, some check engine lights and it has to do with the heaters on the O2 sensors. And so it had been at another shop and they couldn't figure it out and yada, yada, yada. And so we're actually still, some things to diagnose, you don't just like throw parts at it and voila, you know, it takes time. And so we've had that thing for six months, you know, and we're, we're still driving it and we're still you know figuring out you know the, these problems and so I guess what I'm getting into is like yes you can buy a 2001 GMC Yukon XL for less than what you could buy it from us yes but you're gonna have all of that cost into those those upgrades and then on top of that if you're not mechanically inclined you could have bought a lemon you could have you know bought something driving home the engine blows up whatever and so um, we, you know, try to eliminate all of those issues that you would have. And so that's included in this package, not just a used car that we kitted out. You know, there's a lot 
more goes into these vehicles as far as mechanical than the interior and uh, it's really time consuming and um, it just it is what it is we want to sell you know you guys a great product and we try our best at that but anyway sorry they got a little long but uh, again Son tour and uh, if you guys like this video please subscribe we'd love to have you and um, any suggestions you know more videos that you want to watch or anything like that I'm, I'm all ears so thanks again and have a good one